Alright, so in this video we're going to be taking a look at wiring a high thermostat mini to a Worcester 2000. So if you open up all the packaging, this is pretty much what you should get. You should get your receiver, thermostat and a little booklet. So first thing we're going to do is undo the two screws underneath the boiler and that's going to allow us to take the front case off. So just pull down this little tab and the front unit should just drop down. So now you've got four tabs that you need to squeeze and lift up at the same time. It's much easier with two hands. So we're going to be using the three terminals to the left, LR, LS and NS. In terms of the receiver, we'll be using neutral live, a link between live and one, and then we'll also be using number three. So first thing, if we just cut a little hole into this rubber so we can shove our cable through. So it's a bit hard to see, but there's currently a link between LR and LS. So I'll loosen those two screws and that link should come out now because we'll be replacing that with the thermostat. So I was roughly calculating how much I want to strip off the cable. So pretty much copying the other cable that's down on the right, and I'm going to strip that much off. So that's it, all the cables stripped, and we don't need to use all these cables. I'm just going to be using these three. So brown for live, blue for neutral, and then gray will be the switch. So strip out my cables, shove them through this little connector, and now I've got them lined up in the right order. So switch is going to be on left, Live is going to be in the middle and neutral is going to be on the right. So shove them all in, make sure they're all in properly and now I'm going to tighten up the little screws. Give them a quick pull, make sure they're not coming out. And finally, just tighten this little screw to secure the cable. That's it. Cables are run, pop that case back on. That is everything done from the boiler side. Next is going to be the receiver. So just marking a position of where I want this receiver to be and getting it level. You can see there's a cable on the left and they've plastered over it. So I have to be really careful not to drill where that cable is. But you can pretty much see the route they've taken. So I should be alright. Plugs are in, now I'm just going to get the bracket, screw it on, make sure it's level and now I can start doing the wires. So again, the first thing I do is I roughly size up how long I want the cable and how much I'm going to strip it by. So if I strip it from there, that should give me enough space to put all the cables in different terminals. So same three colours, neutral is blue, brown is live and then the grey is going to be our switch. And again, just sizing up how much I want to strip off each one. That's it, neutral in. Now I'm just going to have to tie it off camera because unfortunately I don't have free hands. So if you look at the live terminal, there's two places you can put the cable. You can put it to the left of the screw or the right of the screw. I would usually put it to the left because we also need to put a link between live and one. 
I'd put that to the right of the screw, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. So you can see the live cable is on the left and the link put in just to the right of it. Give them a pull, make sure they're not going anywhere. And now we just have to do number three. But you can see I didn't twist it properly, so it's not going in. So I'm going to retwist it, put it in, and this time it's fine. Just got to tighten it up again. And that's it. That is all the wiring done. So give it a pull, make sure they're definitely not coming out. And then you can actually put the receiver onto that base now. So I just need to tighten them to screws at the bottom and put a clip on, but I do that at the end. That's not important right now. Right now, I'll just get it all set up and running. So in terms of the thermostat now, flip it over, take the back case off, and you'll notice there's a white piece of paper that's really small. Take that out, make sure all the batteries are in. Once you put the case back on, flip it over, the thermostat should say searching. So while it's saying that, you're just gonna pop the power on, and once that receiver comes on, you're gonna hold it down until it goes from that orange flashing to a purpley white flashing. That's it, let go, and then just give it 30 seconds, a minute, and it should automatically pair. The first thing you'll notice is that light goes green. That's it, lights can green. Now that should just automatically pair and it's ready to use. There you go, very successful. And then you can use your down, up to turn the heating on or off. Got the thermostat on the wall, take the little plastic off, that's it, job's all done. I'll try to post more thermostat videos because a few of you have asked in the comments. I know they can be a little bit confusing in terms of wiring, but try to get as many off as I can and yeah, that's it for this video.